Hi, I'm Dr. Anna Fisher, a medical doctor, NASA astronaut, and um, I flew on board the Space Shuttle Discovery from November 8th to the 16th, 1984. I started out as a math major at UCLA, uh, switched over to being a chemistry major, graduated with a BS in chemistry, uh, went on to medical school, got my uh, degree in, in medicine, and also um, had spent a year in graduate school so that I have my master's in chemistry as well. The advice I would give to middle school students is to find something that you're passionate about. Study hard, you never know what opportunities are going to come up in the future. I wanted to be an astronaut, but as I got older, it looked like that was not going to happen. And then all of a sudden that opportunity presented itself and I was in the right place with the right credentials. So I always tried to have a primary plan, a backup plan, and just try to be prepared to do as many different things as, my, as where my interest took me. I had a physical chemistry teacher um, at the time at UCLA that looked like he had just stepped out of mission control in the days of uh, all the protests uh, Vietnam War. So, and he was he made us come in and pick up our midterms in person and went over our exams with us. And all this many years later, I still remember um, having to explain my mistakes to him and um, having him teach me about how. Um, he asked me if I'd seen a, a falling star, and I said, no, sir, I hadn't. And he proceeded to help me derive the equations um, for when would be the best time to go see one. And I still remember being on orbit in the shuttle and seeing two meteors go below me and wishing he were still alive so I could tell him, I bet you didn't think of that one. I remember um, when I was uh, about middle school age that um, I loved science fiction, but there were never any books written with a female lead character, and I did not like reading a book that had a male lead character because I was not able to identify. So my favorite books were the series of orange books in the library in uh, San Pedro, where I went to middle school, that were about all these amazing women, Elizabeth Blackwell, the first female doctor, Madame Curie, and all of those, and those were some of my heroes. when I applied to medical school the first time, I wound up um, going, um, getting on the waiting list at UCLA. The next year I got in, and then it turned out that that year that I didn't get into medical school, I was a TA in chemistry. I wound up getting my master's in chemistry, and then when NASA came along and selected people to be mission specialists, that was what they were looking for. So what was a failure at that time later turned out to, to be very helpful. I think you wind up looking back, learning more from your failures than your successes, and they help to, to build you and sometimes unexpectedly wind up benefiting you.